it's easy to use, it's, uh, it's comfortable. Dans l'organisation du bloc, c'est plus fluide. There's more of an integration of different type of information sources. And really represents the next generation of, uh, of imaging. To come to a really new solution, one has to take a close look at what's going on currently. How is one performing uh, his procedures? What's the current technology use you have right now? And there we also see one of the biggest challenges for the future because we see that the area that we're working in might not change that much, but the area surrounding us is changing more and more. The goal of what we, what we were developing was to create a system that solves the, the, that solves the problem of an interventional room with a lot of equipment in there with multiple users using, those, the, using these systems, cooperating and doing that in a very efficient way. On had des files d'attente uh, qui uh, s'allongeaient. On avait des équipes uh, qui étaient fatiguées puisque on avait des programmes de bloc extrêmement chargés avec uh, des interventions qui se finissaient parfois tard. Donc, uh, uh, on a jugé que c'était pas qualitatif uh, pour les patients, pas qualitatif pour les médecins, pas, pas qualitatif pour nos équipes. We merkte dat we tegen een aantal dingen aanliepen die we zelf niet goed konden ondervangen en waar we zelf niet zoveel zicht op hadden. En samen met Philips hebben we dat hele traject bekeken waar, uh, waar we konden verbeteren. We have to have a happy staff. We have to be a magnet hospital. We have to have a setup that we can arrange a peace of mind for, for the patients. And when we consider doing this, uh, we feel that we cannot do it alone in the complex world in the coming years. Right now we see really a need for other features, functions in the system to support all different roles in hospitals. So at the start of the concept study we reached out to our colleagues within the organization, our clinical experts, to learn what the trends are and what the needs are of our customers before going out to our hospitals and actually observe the users using our existing system. We know that the systems that we have currently are good. So we started from more like what is good and what needs to be changed. Je pense que c'est la, la, la conception en elle-même. Les, euh, les ingénieurs ont bien pensé à tout ce qu'on pouvait utiliser euh, et essayer de réduire au maximum les, les difficultés dans notre travail. So we did a simulation study. We just recruited 60 randomly, uh, they were randomly selected, so we didn't know them beforehand. So they were, uh, they had Philips experience, but they also had um, um, experience with competitors. Well, I think the, uh, the innovation starts on the working floor, and if you don't cooperate with the industry, it just uh, dies out. I think what makes this project unique for Philips is how early we involve the customers and how frequently we involve the customers and how quick we did uh, those iterative steps. We've been involved since the early development of concepts to each of the components of this system. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to actually have seen it develop to work many of the, uh, uh, the research engineers in the lab as individual pieces started to, to be developed and then ultimately come together into what's now becoming a clinical tool. So it's really interesting when we started working with limited edition customers is that they didn't ask us to just install a piece of equipment. They asked us to help them with their challenges. How to treat more patients on a day. How to reduce their waiting list. Ce qui doit primer en priorité, c'est la qualité des soins, pour moi. Euh, et l'exercice difficile que nous avons à réaliser, c'est euh, toujours tendre vers cet objectif tout en tenant compte des contraintes euh, économiques. Burion is not only about the system, but it's also about services, integration with other equipment, and all the components that can contribute to optimizing lab performance and delivering superior care. I think we are now more focused on patient satisfaction and quality, and also quality measurement and improving that, and comparing with other hospitals on both areas, patient satisfaction and quality. 
il y a des bénéfices multiples pour le patient. Le patient reçoit peu de rayons, enfin en tout cas moins qu'avec les modalités précédentes. Euh, le patient euh, reste moins longtemps sur la table parce que les différentes euh, fonctionnalités font que la, la procédure est plus rapide. Euh, mais plus que tout, euh, la qualité de travail autorisée par ce type de salle euh, fait que le patient surtout est bien traité. Et donc la, la qualité d'image euh, et le fait qu'on soit vraiment très à l'aise pour travailler fait qu'on rend du travail excellent. I'm very happy with the, uh, the, the zero dose positioning. It's of utmost importance just to keep the dose as low as possible for all the, all, all the staff working here. Uh, also for the patients, of course. That is very, very important, but with people working with the system every day, it's of utmost importance. Of, of course, as a, as a patient, and, and uh, I'm concerned about my dose how much dose I do get. Of course, it's important to me. Something that is called clarity system, and it's amazing. The dose is so low. I just did two cases with um, 3.75 frames per, per second, and then it's, uh, it's, it's amazing uh, quality. Uh, the picture quality is amazing. The zero dose positioning and it's excellent. You just don't need to, uh, to to use any radiation to know where you want to go. You don't need a uh, positioning on the patient just to know where where you have to do the the next imaging. So it's it's perfect. You move the the table. You already see what ha what's happening on the on the big screen. So you, you, the system gives you already a visual guidance where the next. Uh, radiated area will be. I like the integration of the different um, applications which can be put in on the FlexVision monitor system and that you can manage it yourself. What we added on top of that is a procedure card concept that allows to filter features uh, that you do not need for your procedure and to tune the procedure to your specific personal needs. The fact that autonome allows to finish plus vite l'examen d'avoir l'information, toute l'information, plus vite. Plus vite dans l'information, plus vite c'est fini, plus mieux c'est pour le patient. C'est un big, uh, big screen, so it was an eye opening. It's, 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 and because you can in the big screen, you can also integrate IBUS or, or in the corner or, or OCT or FFR, so, so you have everything in one. Well, one of the things I like very much is the fact that we have this integration with our personal hospital workspace. Meaning that I can have in the same big screen, I can have the information from the live procedure, I can have the live imaging, but right on the side I have all the other information available as well. We really had to, had to invent the technology to, to make it possible that all these users are using the same, same equipment that's not standard, standardly solved in, in most, uh, most industries. So the introduction of the Azorian platform and unique features like instant parallel working and procedure cards are already examples of how Philips is contributing to efficiency within the lab. Parallel working is um, that you can do X-ray acquisition and that you can do at the same time, on the other monitor, you can do post-processing or anything else with data from the same patient or from another patient. So that's really nice, so that keeps you in the workflow very... It costs less time. Justement, c'est uh, ce système nous permet en fait de vraiment... C'est dans l'anticipation, c'est dans le gain de temps, c'est dans la, participi de la participation de, du manipulateur uh, à l'acte lui-même, uh, au geste lui-même. Uh, Ça nous permet euh, de ne plus être figé derrière notre écran, mais de pouvoir aussi euh, participer à l'action dans la salle. Nous retrouvons un acte de soignant et nous ne sommes plus que euh, des, euh, des, des, des machinistes qui sont derrière leur pupitre en train de, de travailler euh, et d'appuyer sur différents boutons pour obtenir quelque chose. Le 
on oppinut sen tosi hyvin ja niin kuin tänään tuossa kun me tehtiin toimenpidettä, niin Risto teki omaa ja mä käytin omaa, että me niin kuin tehdään yhdessä sitä työtä, mikä tässä laitteessa on niin kuin hyvää. By only bringing the cheapest uh, price, it's not the answer anymore and it's not enough today because we know that the technology is going on and on so fast that there would be replacements in a couple of years and so on. So we have to take, uh, change the thinking on a life cycle thinking. We get a lot of requests from our users that we want a user experience that is like what we use in the consumer world. And smooth interactions, easy switching between applications, gestures. But at the same time, we also have to deal with medical regulations. No, the, the, the possibility to expand the images, to choose the place where we go, to remind us of the incidents. When I did my swing, 5.8 seconds and 80 positions. I choose the image that I want, and from the de the touchpad, hop, the machine will go to the incidents that I want to do. Ça, c'est gagner du temps, c'est pratique, c'est de la scopie en moins. I think this new system is really becoming an all-new digital platform where it optimizes digital everything. So everything from touchpad controls to putting the information all together for the user in a much more user-friendly way. It's brought much of the information we need to treat that patient now right to the uh, fingertips of the interventionalist. We used to have a TSM with a lot of uh, predefined buttons and we see now that we have more free working space where in a way also mouse and keyboard functions are integrated as well and it actually replicates the, the controls that you have in the control room as well. Well we had an intensive training session for five days with Philips that was really very nice and the build up of the program was very good and after five days we were confident that we could work with the system on our own. Developing the system, it's only 50% of uh, doing this in this project. Uh, the other 50% is really doing, of having a proper education. In this time, what you see a lot of times when people are learning by themselves is looking on YouTube. Uh, they're going to look for short videos, and that's why we came with the idea to use such a videos as well, which we call the How Do I videos. We have a rotating uh, staff of doctors and uh, it's very important that they don't have to start again when they are coming here. Uh, a function, a button, which was the philosophy of Philips depuis toujours, and they are found here de façon encore plus, plus développée. We now have a feel that the system is capable of much more. We see that the flexible working environment will be able to do very nice and, 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 and very flashy features in the, in the near future. La beauté du système, euh, franchement, pouvoir travailler mes images euh, en même temps que l'opérateur travaille lui-même sans le déranger et euh, sans que lui-même me dérange. Clairement, l'ergonomie Philips nous permet de gagner du temps. The company has been uh, listening to, to the use of the nurses and doctors. Alors, euh, ce système, d'abord, il nous permet euh, de satisfaire euh, les besoins de nos équipes médicales qui, elles, sont toujours à l'affût des, te des technologies les plus modernes pour euh, prodiguer des soins euh, les plus qualitatifs à nos patients. Thank you for all your insights and your cooperation. Thank you for all your insights. I'd like to thank you for the trust that you placed in us. Thank you for all your interesting feedback. I really want to thank all the physicians who visited our lab. We really want to thank all the hospitals who opened the, up their labs to us. Thank you. And thank you for making us part of your world. Innovation and you. Philips.